This tutorial demonstrates how to set the file path macro in MNOVA. Often, I open and work with a handful of NMR spectra, which vary only slightly in their experimental conditions, such as the number of scans or the T1 delay time, and so it isn't immediately obvious by visual inspection which spectrum belongs to which experiment. One way I keep track of what's what is by the file name and file location of the dataset. MNOVA provides a file path macro that, when enabled, allows one to read the file path and file name simply by hovering the mouse cursor over a spectrum image in the Pages workspace. I want to show you how to enable this option and set the macro. First, open a spectrum file. You can import an unprocessed dataset or a saved MNOVA file. Right-click the image in the spectrum workspace and select Properties. A dialog box will appear. In general, under the NMR Spectrum tab, you'll see a section labeled Title. If this section is grayed out, click the checkbox next to the heading Title. Now, click the Options button at the end of the Format box to access the Macro Editor. Navigate to the Path Macro and click it. You can learn more about the parameters by hovering the cursor over them. For example, if you want to see only the file name for the dataset, then change the level value to 1. Setting it to 2 will display the parent directory, and increasing values will work further up the directory tree. I'm going to leave these parameters blank, thus setting them to their default values. Click the blue plus button to add the macro, and then click OK to accept the changes. Back in the Properties window, uncheck the title box. If this remains checked, then the dataset name and file path will be written on the spectrum in the main workspace. I find this brings no additional value to the information being displayed on the spectrum and often interferes with many of the other text adornments I usually add to the spectrum. And since you can't interactively reposition the file path text, I hide this information from the spectrum view, but make it available when I hover the mouse over the spectrum in the page's workspace. Now, click the Set as Default button in the lower left-hand corner. This will now be the default action MNOVA applies to Spectre the next time you open the program. Click Apply, and then OK. Finally, hovering your cursor over a spectrum in the Pages workspace will now show you the file path and name information for that spectrum data set. 